Hello, my name is Dr. Trey Wilson. I teach at the Department of Political Science and International Affairs at the University of North Georgia on the Gainesville campus. Dr. Wilson, can you tell us about your undergraduate and graduate education? Sure. I actually got my undergraduate degree in zoology, of all things, at the University of Georgia before deciding that I wanted to uh, pursue a career in law and academia. And after that, I went to uh, law school at a couple of different schools before finally graduating from the University of Toledo College of Law in Ohio. And uh, after law school, I did it kind of backwards. I actually pursued graduate school at that time. And so I went on to get a couple of master's degrees, uh, one from here in the public administration program, and then earned my doctorate at the, the uh, University of Georgia. Okay. Can you tell us about one of your favorite classes in, your graduate, in one of your graduate degrees? So it's sort of a running gag with people that know me that I've taken a lot of graduate classes in the way to earning uh, probably more degrees than anybody should really need to have. Uh, but my favorite, and this will sound self-serving, but it's honestly true, my favorite degree program was the Master's of Public Administration I earned here uh, through North Georgia. And uh, I took many courses from Dr. Barry Friedman, a uh, friend and colleague, and I enjoyed every one of them. Probably the funnest one we ever took uh, together was an ethics class that he taught which was just uh, some scintillating discussion, just a, a really good cohort of students that was there, and uh, he makes that class really fun. Okay, and then can you tell us about what classes you teach uh, on the Gainesville campus? Absolutely. So besides teaching introductory American government courses, uh, I tend to teach courses in a field known as public law. Primarily, that's going to be courses like constitutional law, civil liberties, um, sometimes legal research and writing, pretty much anything that might be sort of in an undergraduate curriculum behooving to law school. Okay, and then can you tell us about other opportunities pre-law uh, students here and um, can pursue? There are several actually. The university is sort of unique among our peer institutions that we actually have a program within the Department of Political Science and International Affairs where students can actually essentially major in pre-law studies. You major in political science, but you're in a concentration in studies of pre-law. And that curriculum is designed to give students an opportunity to pretty much take many more classes as an undergrad in areas of law that most students would conventionally have access to at other universities. So besides taking my classes, we also have classes in international law and in other disciplines within the law taught by four or five faculty members across our multiple campuses that students have access to. And outside of the classroom, we also have a couple of things. There's also, uh, for first, there's the Pre-Law Society, which was founded at the University of North Georgia probably about seven or eight years ago. And that's uh, a group of students, all who are sort of like-minded in their pursuit of a legal education. They meet periodically, and they'll bring guest speakers to campus from law schools or area attorneys. And we also have a very strong internship program. One of the components of the pre-law degree is that you have to satisfy a six-credit hour internship. Most of our students will do that over the summer semester, typically between their junior and senior years. And in doing so, we place them with really all kinds of law offices, from public defenders to uh, district attorneys to private law practice. So it's really a fantastic opportunity for students to actually see what they, the practice of law entails and decide if it's something they want to do. Okay. And then you mentioned uh, earlier um, that you had been to law school, and then you're teaching these courses to preparing students. Can you tell us just a little bit about again, the classes that are pre-law, or are they at the same, or how do they translate to preparing for law school? Sure. So what I do and what I know my colleagues do that have taught these law classes are we do our best as much as possible to sort of simulate a law school experience. Law school is very unique when it comes to legal education. Uh, what it is, it operates on what's called a Socratic method. So the idea is you will have a class convene of law students. Uh, typically it's going to be 75 or more students in a large lecture hall and then you have the professor who is you know, a luminary in his or her field and uh, there's not so much recitation as much as there is sort of questions and answers posed about reading assignments, cases, things like this. Students will be called upon to discuss the facts or the reasoning and then a discourse will develop between the professor and the student we do our best to emulate that in many of our classes here. So I know, for example, when I teach something like constitutional law, we'll be reading cases about the powers of the Supreme Court or the powers of the uh, executive branch, for example, and I'll call students out in the same manner that would be called out in law school. They're expected to go and do the reading outside of class, come back into class, and then engage in discussion. And it's really a, a terrific way to actually learn material because it's not boring the sage on the stage just sort of, you know, 
blabbing something out, but actually gets students very engaged. And at the same time, it gives them good exposure to the kind of education they're going to be getting when they go on to law school. Okay. And then can you tell us more about, you mentioned pre-law students are required to do an internship. So is that a whole semester long? Is there assignments outside of the internship? What does that consist of? There are. Typically it's done uh, over the course of a semester, usually in the summer term. And what students are done do is they are placed with attorneys uh, really in various areas of the law. We place many with Lumpkin County District Attorney, for example. We also have many students who will go back home to work with people that they know of. But what you're actually doing is shadowing an attorney. You get the chance to see what that practitioner of the law does day in, day out, and at the same time learn a great deal about whether or not the law is a career that you want to pursue, but also exactly what the practice of law entails. And as you perform the internship, there's other components. You'll have journaling assignments and some written work that you'll submit. But in the main, the opportunity is for you to sort of really immerse yourself over the course of many, many hours to see, get a good feel about what the law is and what it would actually be like to practice law after going to law school. Okay. And then can you tell us uh, your favorite part, what you love most about teaching at the University of North Georgia? Well, that's a tough one. There are many, many things. I think the thing I enjoy the most is the chance just to interact with some really remarkable students and some remarkable colleagues in a discipline that uh, I'm really drawn to. Um, the law is something that when you pursue it as a profession, uh, part of the benefit is that you're surrounded by people that are usually as engaged and as erudite as you are. And so for me, the fact that it's a discipline that there's really never really a dull moment, it's constantly changing, there's a lot of dynamism, uh, and it's the kind of thing that's just very intriguing. I think that's what I've enjoyed the most of my time here. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you.